My name is Alish Shalati, and I've been given the task of organizing the Keystone Symposium on Epigenetic Marks and Cancer Drugs, which will be held between March 20th to 25th in Santa Fe, New Mexico. What we have learned during the past decade is that the chromatin within our cells is post-translationally modified by chromatin-modifying enzymes, and that these modifications include acetylation, methylation, phosphorylation, and monoubiquitination. We have also learned that mutations, translocation, and aberrations in genes encoding for some of the histone-modifying and demodifying enzymes are associated with the pathogenesis of human diseases, including cancer. Though for a large number of academics and pharmaceutical laboratories have been engaged to define the cellular and molecular properties of histone-modifying enzymes, with the hope of identifying the small molecular inhibitors of their activities so they can be used at targeted therapeutics. So given the great excitement in this area, the Keystone Symposium on Epigenetic Marks and Cancer Drugs is very timely, and we are delighted that Professor Stuart Schreiber has accepted to present a plenary lecture for this meeting. There are also a large number of leaders in the fields of epigenetic and chromatin biology, both from academia and pharmaceutical industries, which are invited as speakers to the meeting. Also, a good number of talks will be selected from the submitted abstracts. I think um, bringing the experts from the both academia and pharmaceutical industries is a very unique aspect of this symposium as it will bring about the discussions of experts in the field regarding the understanding of molecular properties for chromatin modifying enzymes and how small molecular inhibitors can be used as agents for the treatment of cancer and other human diseases. So overall the meeting will provide a great medium for interactions between colleagues uh, involving the field of epigenetics and chromatin biology and will be a great gathering for organization of future experiments, studies and collaborations in the field and will be an important setting for the future course of the field. Now speaking from myself, uh, my science has uh, tremendously benefited from a attending scientific meetings such as the Keystone Symposia. I've met many of my best friends and colleagues in the field and attending their talks and listening to their posters and thereafter having uh, conversations and many, in many cases we started having collaboration which resulted in fantastic discoveries. So I encourage uh, my colleagues uh, to attend scientific meetings, share their knowledge with uh, other colleagues and be open to collaborations. I uh, look forward to seeing everyone for the Keystone Symposium on Epigenetic Marks and Cancer Drugs in Santa Fe, New Mexico in 2013.